Hello everyone, and welcome to Don't Be Someone Else's Bitch. I am Bob the Orc, and this is Episode 7, Achieving Happiness and Finding Balance in Life. So let's sit down and talk a little bit about how we can all be happy. I got the idea the other day, I was talking to a friend and she's having a lot of trouble. Actually, a lot of my friends have been having a lot of trouble lately just uh, because of the whole COVID thing. People are scared. People are out of work. And life is tough. Life is tough even when there's not all this, all this stuff going on. And a lot of people ask me how I, how I maintain a positive outlook on life. And so I thought I'd share my secrets. So first off, there's a correlation between happiness and balance. Most people look for happiness, and I don't think that works. I think instead we need to search for balance in our life, and by achieving a balanced life, we can then find happiness naturally. And so often people will try and do things that make them happy. They'll buy uh, a cool game, or they'll eat some ice cream, or something that gives them a fleeting pleasure, but it's fleeting, it goes away. And, and if you want your happiness to be lasting, if you don't want to just get depressed a few days after you get this new cool thing, you've got to understand what it is that makes people happy. So, in, in my experience, I find that having a balanced life will, will be the secret to, to maintaining a, a long-term happiness. And if you look at a lot of philosophies, they will all talk about some combination of your mind, your body, and, and some sort of spiritual element. And, and let's get into that a little bit. So first off, you need to have a healthy mind. Without a healthy mind, uh, you can't do anything because you know, your mind is really you know, your logical essence. It's who you are. And in order to have a healthy mind, you need to be intellectually stimulated. You can't just sit around and watch TV and do, uh, do nothing. You've got you've to pursue tasks that are mentally challenging. Uh, you know, solving puzzles, starting businesses, figuring things out, doing, you know, getting educated, reading, learning, anything that, that will stimulate your mind. And you have to do this constantly. This is why so many uh, retired people uh, become sad and depressed also because they're not stimulating their mind anymore. So you've got you've got to uh, you've got to keep yourself challenged. I, I like that word challenged. If if stuff is intellectually easy, then you're not really pushing yourself. You're you're going to get complacent, and being complacent will lead to sadness, depression. So explore ideas, learn new things, push yourself. The, the next thing is going to be a healthy body. Um, there's, there's a strong correlation between a healthy body and a healthy mind. Uh, we know that uh, getting exercise, for example, will increase blood flow to your brain. It'll release uh, you know, various endorphins, various hormones that, that, that uh, make you more positive, give you more energy. And so you need to have a healthy body. You have to eat, eat good food. Don't eat a bunch of crap. Uh, you, can, you know, take vitamins, especially just a regular multivitamin, uh, that will help you cheat a little bit on, on not eating all the proper, you know, vegetables and whatnot. And, uh, you know, I take, I take a multivitamin every day. I take a vitamin D supplement because I don't get enough sunlight and vitamin D helps your immune system, make sure you have enough zinc, uh, you know, they, magnesium I'm told helps with depression. Uh, that that omega three stuff to help your help your mind to be better. So you want to you want to take your vitamins. You also want to exercise. You know, just even if it's just 15, 20 minutes a day, you want to do something physically active. Go for a walk. I try to walk, you know, five to ten miles a day if I can. Uh, get a couple hours of sunlight. Uh, you know, I try I try to work out at least a few hours a day if I can, and and I, I try to stay really active. And that gives me a lot of energy, gives me a positive outlook on life, and, and it helps boost my, my mind. Let's also talk about having a healthy spirit. Now, 
Now this is this is a tough one, and I'm not going to get into a bunch of religious stuff or, you know, way of the warrior, you know, uh, finding your chi. But there's there's an element, there's a spiritual element to all people. It can be some down to your your inner will, uh, your your emotional fortitude, your mental fortitude, how strong willed you are to overcome uh, adversity, and a lot of this uh, ties into self confidence and how you how you become more self confidence uh, confident and how you uh, become more mentally strong oh my fire went out let's go make another one how you how you achieve this I think is you have to have purpose in life a lot of people don't have purpose and they they find themselves lost so, so for example, I know that my purpose in life is to build cool things. Whenever I'm feeling sad, I build something. Uh, you know, I create, I make things, and that makes me happy. And and your purpose is going to be different than mine. Everybody, everybody has a purpose. They just, it's hard to find. It's a great challenge in life to find it. But what I found a shortcut is do something productive every day that moves your life in a better direction. So for example, today, I did a little bit of renovation work on, uh, you know, on my studio. You can't really see a lot because I've got this cool background. But, uh, you know, I'm sitting inside of a building and the building needs some work. And so I spent, uh, I spent about an hour working on it, just, just making some improvements. And I feel, I feel really good about it. Uh, you know, do something long-term productive every day, not just your day-to-day -day work stuff, but something that will long-term make your life better. And, and if, you, if you do this, you'll eventually, even if you don't find your purpose, you'll at least be able to see over time that your life is improving. That will give you, uh, that'll give you a better sense of purpose as well. And the other thing with finding a purpose is your purpose will change over time. So if you if you don't f don't worry about getting it right just find something that keeps you going uh when, when i was a kid for example i wanted to be an olympic wrestler i trained really hard every day obviously i'm not an olympic wrestler uh i'm, I'm i just didn't have the talent that my uncle louis had and and my bad knees kind of messed with that but it gave me a purpose to work really hard through through childhood and in in college, you know, I wanted to be a great architect, and so I studied my butt off. Thing. It really drove me and gave me meaning to my life. You know, and afterwards, uh, you know, I wanted to, uh, you know, wanted to, to, to do various different things, you know, protect people. At one point, uh, you know, I found that I really liked starting businesses, and eventually I realized over time that all the things that make me happy is I like making things that, that help improve other people's lives. And, 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 that's a, and that's a purpose. And that's probably going to be the purpose of my life for a long time to come. So you'll find your purpose, but on that journey, just do productive things that help improve your life long term. And that's going to give you kind of a sense of calm and accomplishment, you know, inside. And, you know, you can go find God. You can go, you know, practice martial arts, improve your chi and all that other stuff. But it all comes down to finding, finding a purpose in your life. And I think that uh, being, being productive is the, is the best way to do that. A lot of people who sit around and do nothing are the most unhappy. So finally, I want to talk about how to get there. My, my, my primary philosophy in life is to accomplish things one step at a time. I got this from my dad. Dad would always say, how do you climb a mountain? You get to the top of the mountain by putting one foot in front of the other until you eventually get to the top. And, and I think that this can be applied to all, all aspects in life. So if you want to get your body in shape, start by just getting rid of something bad that you eat and just stop eating it, right? Just, just one little thing. You know, start by working out 15 minutes a day. And, and once you turn these into habits, you know, start reading a book, read a little bit every day. I try to spend at least an hour reading every day to improve my mind. You know, maybe sit and meditate or something, you know, just, uh, just any little thing that's going to improve your life. And just worry about making small incremental changes. Because the fastest way to make a big change is to do a series of small changes. So... 
in summary, you got you got to have a balanced life. You know, you need to you need to build up your mind, you have to build up your body, you have to build up your spirit. And you do these in small incremental changes that move in a generally positive direction. And what you'll find over time is you'll be a much happier person. And that's that's my secret. There's no magic. It's just one step at a time, find balance in your life. So, I hope this I hope this helps. And you know, if you like what I'm doing, like and subscribe to my channel. I'll be starting up a few other things in the future. And thanks for watching. Share it with your friends and don't be assholes to each other. That's important too. Good night.